Hello, my friends, and welcome back to City Skylines 2. Welcome back to the traffic nightmare, Hexagon City. We left this place in quite a state last time. Let's see what we can do to try to help fix this place. Turning on split phasing on a lot of these roads is going to be critical, I think. My performance right now is also pretty terrible, and I don't know if I can actually fix it. I recently reinstalled Windows because I was having some issues. And hopefully that hasn't... Let's turn off the day-night cycle for now. Hopefully that hasn't screwed up anything too badly. Yeah, I don't want to turn anything else on. If anything, I think I turned off volumetrics recently because I was just concerned. But honestly, I think we might just be in a situation where Hexagon City is just a big, busy city. But I don't remember it performing this poorly before. Hopefully I'm not running anything that I shouldn't be in the background. No Descript running or DaVinci? DaVinci? No, I don't. Everything's fine. You know what I could do? I don't even know if this works, but I think it might work. If I just say force all nodes to update, does that fix... Like if I just go somewhere random, let's say here, it probably almost definitely never changed this one. Oh no, it doesn't fix it. Oh no, don't tell me that it actually disabled everything else that I've done. Let's find one that we definitely know that we've set up like this. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so I guess, does this button just not work? Is that what this is? Force all nodes to update? Maybe just doesn't work? I don't know. Default, split phasing, turning on red, exclusive pedestrian. Force all nodes, road junctions to update, applying the default settings in this mod to all traffic lights without custom configurations. Oh, it's only available after a city is loaded. Let me try something. Okay, so we've done a quick save and a quick load here. In theory, I should be able to now go into there. Let's say that this is, maybe this is how it works. Once the city is just loaded, then you do this. And now if I resume the game and I go look at one of these intersections, where's one that almost definitely hasn't been touched? This one. No, it hasn't changed anything. No. Okay, so that feature just, it simply doesn't work. It doesn't do what it says on the tin. That's okay. So what's going on here that's causing so much traffic backup? Maybe we just go to single time speed so it's less of a an impact on my machine. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. Should we just... I don't see any reason to not just let three lanes go up there. How would we do this? Something like that. No, I need to bring it back. Oh wait, I just need to connect it. Let's get rid of that U-turn. <laughs> so if I do that, and then what if we give this five lanes very briefly, and then let them all merge together? Not even allowed to change this. Is that because of where it's snapping to? It might be. That oh, doesn't want to do it anyway. Okay, so it's just broken all the way forever. I'd have to use Anarchy to make this move, which I'm not against doing. Especially if we did it like this, if we moved it all over. That's actually okay. We do lose a lane here don't know if I want to merge like that. Maybe we let them have one more. Yeah, something like that. Then that forces the traffic on the right to merge. And then what we can do is we can come in here. And let's just say this lane has to squeeze on over. Actually, was that really such a big deal to let this one go straight through? I don't think it was. There will occasionally be a car in the way that will slow you down. It's merging into the same lane. There's an accident there that's gonna cause a traffic issue, but that's not really anything that we can do anything about at the moment, except wait for that to get resolved. There's a big old conga line of problems over here. Let's see if we can solve this one. The problem might just be that this is a hideous intersection. I don't like it either. I don't like the way that all the traffic squeezes in there. Oh well, what can you do? Sometimes you just can't like things. Wow, look at how bad the simulation speed is. May as well just leave this on one, on single speed, because it's not running at maximum speed anyway. Doesn't matter what we set it to. Oh, we can probably get rid of that light. Okay, that should help a little bit, I think. Fixing this might help a little bit. I don't think that we need a 
another lane there yet. All right, where else do we have traffic issues? All the way out here? There's some accidents, but that's okay. That's not really anything too concerning. We can't just fix that by adjusting a road. Okay, so we got some party problems out here. Mostly, it's this little highway where people are trying to get on and off. Actually, they're just getting off here. What if we gave them a few other locations where they could get off of this highway? Oh, that's not even connected. The man's an idiot. Let's fix that again. Let's fix that for the first time. Where else would be a good place to pull the traffic off of this road? Maybe over here? Something like that. That might help. Oh my gosh, the simulate- am I set to prioritize simulation speed? I am! This is just as good as it can be. We do have some- oh, I don't have developer mode enabled. That's a problem. I was gonna go in and turn off the- I was just gonna remove obsolete entries or whatever that button is called. I don't even know what it is now. It doesn't matter because I can't use it. Why was that set to vanilla? And why is- oh, wait a minute. Is default... automatically split phasing with all these things on? No, it can't be. Maybe it is. Maybe that's what changing the default does. It changes what this default button does. That's weird. That's not very intuitive if that's actually the case. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that I'm not sure about that. All right, we'll try to fix some of these guys up here and there. Regular split phasing, please. Thank you. Changing the light phasing is usually a good way to fix an intersection before resorting to adding additional lanes. Now, adding additional lanes also probably will help whenever we get around to it, but this might help us hold off the tide at least temporarily. Do we have subway access over here in this little area where everybody is flocking to? Subway. Can you see that? I don't think that we have a subway train that runs to here. No, we don't. So that might, if we did that, so if we put that right here, and then we connected this subway up to our tunnel system, which is a mess. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we do actually have an, a subway there. Okay, so this probably won't do anything really, but it's still good to have, maybe, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Doesn't look like it's going to be too big of a deal to have this. But let's set something up. Um, a track already runs through it. Set up the white line, or the gray line, since I don't think I've ever used that. But what if we did this? What if we just said traffic can go from here? Is this a... that's a bus? What does the subway look like? Oh, okay, so we could take it from the middle here. And then maybe we also run this traffic to the industrial area. I think that's what this is, but I'm not sure. And then how about also stop here and then take it home. Actually, we'll stop here too. Does a big circle. And then this is where it started, right? Yeah, complete route. I don't know if that's going to be helpful. Oh man, there's a lot of traffic here. And again, accidents, not really anything I can do about that. This is just gross. If these are already configured, then the issue would be lanes, but since the lights aren't even set up yet. Let's do that first. What is this truck doing? Oh, it only does it if I turn up the game speed. Oh, uh, that's cool. I like that. That's really neat. That's super cool. I've never seen that before. I really like it. I like it a lot. It might be one of the coolest things. Okay, you know what? I think we might need the lanes here. Look at these trucks freaking out. It's this truck specifically, this truck model. 
Well, I think it might be tied to frame rate. There's a few cars freaking out too, but I think it is tied to frame rate. That's funny. I'll put the crosswalks back here. It doesn't look like there's any other locations of major issue. It's just trying to get through here. Oh, is it because they're trying to get onto this ramp? Might be. Now we got so much spaghetti now, it's starting to get a little bit complicated. This is an express. Okay. I see. I see where the problem is. Or at least part of the problem. Now the real question is, how do we fix it? More importantly, how do we fix it when our sim speed is so poor? All the cars are freaking out. I'm gonna have to look into some of the settings and see what's gone awry. Because I've never seen that. We already looked at this one, right? Yeah, this is... This feels like where a lot of the problems begin. I wonder if it's because of how wacky of an intersection that is. It's just ever so slightly wonky. Look at it. What if, just for one road, what if we give this eight lanes just here? And then we can fix, maybe we can fix this? All those cars are just violently vibrating as they make their turns. Does this have an exclusive pedestrian phase? It does, okay. It's just not good. Oh well. We have so much demand and I'm afraid to add to the city right now because of how busy everything is. Okay, a single lane trying to get onto there. This, there might be a better way to do this. What if we gave you a nice smooth... How does this even go? If we did... Oh, that's too close to where it terminates or becomes bridge. But what if we did that? That's a nice... It's a little bit of a less intense turn. Now we need to tell people that they can't just crisscross over there. That's not your shortcut. Okay, that might help a little bit. And then traffic coming off. Yeah, there's not too much of it. Okay. I think that's resolving. This is probably just traffic light issues. And perhaps, perhaps, could be. Although it's starting to look like... I think the big issue is these little mini... off-ramps... filling up. This one could be split-phasing, that's gonna help. I mean, the traffic's moving, it just... Look at that truck having a party. It's a, it's a party truck, look at this truck. What's going on in this truck? I wish I had a simple solution, like to say, oh, it's you reinstalled Windows so all your drivers are outdated, or you forgot to do Windows updates, but I didn't. I've, I've done everything. All my drivers are as updated as they can be. Everything is pretty much back to exactly as it was before I reinstalled Windows. The issue was my USB drivers weren't working properly, and I tried to fix it by removing all my USB drivers and hoping that a reboot would just fix them. But then my keyboard and my mouse are USB, so they stopped working, and when the computer rebooted, the drivers didn't come back. So I had no way to interface with the machine at all. That was fun. So I stayed up until 2 a.m. that night fixing it from, I don't remember what time I broke it at, 10, 11? I thought it would be a quick fix. I thought this will fix all my issues with my USB. I just got to remove these drivers here and let Windows reinstall them, but it didn't want to. Anyway. <laughs> Tech support woes. I think this whole road here needs to be two lanes. So that traffic can split from it without backing up the whole little road. Let's see how much of it we can change. Can we change the whole thing? Actually, from here, I could probably turn it into a single lane because we're just dealing. There's no more forks. Did I do it right, though? I, it's, it's hideous, but I did do it right. Can I fix it now, or is it too late? Uh, I think it's cursed forever. I would have to do it like this, then slowly wedge this back into position so that it's not obvious that I completely beanst it. <laughs> now there's a little dents. Oh, it's obvious. There's a little dents. That's okay. We'll just pretend there aren't. That's the easiest way to deal with the problem. Pretend it isn't. Problem solved. Population's dropping. That's not good. But I also don't want people moving in right now. Or do I? I suppose we could work on expand. You know what? I'm going to do a little bit of this. Be 
and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm afraid that I'm going to forget how to do it because I haven't done it in so long. So it needs to be, I need to turn on units, it needs to be 25, and those angles need to line up. I need to turn this off. Yeah, okay, I remember this. Not fond of it. It's not a fond memory. But I remember how to do it. It's not like it's been that long either. But you never know, sometimes the memory just doesn't stick. You got too many things going on up there. Something has to be deleted to make room for new memories. And how to build a hexagonal city and city skylines too might be the piece of information that's deemed less important than, I don't know, remembering a loved one's birthday. I don't think I can fit underneath there. I'm not even gonna try. Then this won't fit here. Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say not a chance, but look at this. There's so much room. All this room for activities. Rainy Hexagon City. Rainy City Skylines, too. I swear. I feel like it rains a lot in this game. Uh oh. That angle is. tight. It might not be perfect, but it's gonna have to do. Feels good. Feels right. Why am I doing this? That's a great question. Oh, I think I wanted to start building it closer to the highway. So that if we just build a ramp from the highway into the city, and then people don't have to go as far to get in. And I'm hoping that means less traffic. It's, it's really just wishful thinking. I don't anticipate that this is actually going to make things run any smoother. I also don't want to connect it today. I don't feel like dealing with that. So I'm just getting things prepared for future me to deal with. It's going to be his problem. Okay, this is hideous. Can we fix it? Oh, everybody wants to go this way. Wonderful. Honestly, I think this does a good job of splitting up the traffic that's coming in. I say that and then a traffic jam occurs. So that was really neat. I really like that. That was fun. Alright, we'll just have to, we have to let that play out and see if that resolves itself or if we do actually end up needing new lanes. And the simulation speed is so slow that I don't feel like we can definitively say yes or no to fixing the problem today. Although this looks like it's been here for a while and the problem is still existing. So maybe we update this. Gotta be careful, I don't want this to go too awry. I'm gonna have to fix all this, aren't I? And by all this, I mean all these intersections and crosswalks. Fun times. Let's see what we can do here. All the cars are vibrating angrily. I apologize for the crummy frame rate. Doing everything that I can to make it not as crummy. I just don't want to play at 1x speed, and we have chosen to sacrifice frames for simulation. You wouldn't believe it, <laughs> watching the game play. Just imagine how much worse the simulation would be. In fact, you don't have to imagine it. I can show you. Prioritize frame rate over simulation speed. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe this is the way. Maybe this is how I'm supposed to be doing it. Oh, you know what? This whole road could be upgraded. If it just looks like this anyway. Let me just fix this. Oops. Where does this traffic come from? Over here. They go underwater. Okay. And this is a, probably a nightmare intersection. It is. It is. Of course it is. All right, let's make sure that we put back in our crosswalks. I don't know if the rest of these lane connections are set up right. Somebody can just, oh, say a prayer. It's annoying that this turns off the intersections whenever you upgrade to those Mio roads, but I guess that's just the price you pay for 
mods. Ooh, this is ugly. How do I help this? This almost definitely needs more lands to deal with this. The, uh, the flow of this traffic here. Which means then that this needs to be upgraded, which then means that this needs to be upgraded. Okay. And then that means we should probably upgrade this. And then that means that we should probably upgrade that too. That doesn't even go anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, crosswalks, put those back in. Does this have traffic lights? No, oh, I've completely busted it now. That's interesting. How about you don't try to cross three lanes of the highway? The rest of that is fine. I don't mind any of that. Does this need traffic lights, though? Probably. Hopefully this doesn't pack up the highway too much. But I don't think it will. That poor taxi stuck in the middle of the intersection. You fool. I think everything else is all set up the way it needs to be. No, the problem, the problem just moved. Because all that traffic finally flowed through, so the problem just moved to exist elsewhere. Solution? More lanes, obviously. Do they need to be everywhere, though? Mm, probably not. But we can just look at maybe where there's problems. And then branch once off from where the problem exists and hope for the best. All right, let's put back in our crosswalks, as we do. Oh, they're still there. Good. It's nice when you don't have to put them back in. They just already are still there. They didn't get ruined. Make sure that we're tidying up all the traffic lane rules. So that this doesn't happen. That's a fun time. I like that. Yeah, I don't even know if changing these manually to split phasing is fixing things, or if default already is what that is. Don't know, but I do it anyway, because it's just what I do usually, and it helps, so why change? How is our education system looking? Abysmal. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how bad it is. I can, but I don't want to. I don't want to believe how bad it is. Let's get some schools, some one over there, and put one over here, and put one over here, put one here. That's a lot of schools. And then one here, one here. Let's see what happens when we upgrade these, if we can find them. I probably should have done them one at a time. Because now, I'm just looking for these little square buildings to see if I can locate them. Good thing that they stand out in the neighborhoods where I place them. Looks like we're still in profitability. So this additional education has not bankrupted us, and it's still not good enough. Wonderful. Same with colleges. We don't have enough colleges either. What about this? That's a school. Let's upgrade you. Any others that I've missed? That is already upgraded. That is already upgraded. That's already upgraded. That is upgraded. Oh my gosh. Well, there's two schools, three schools right here. These are all packed. We even have schools all the way out here. Man, the education requirements are obscene. It's so strange that I absolutely have to do it like this. I don't need to be adding the extra well-being bonus, but why not? May as well while we're here. It's gonna help with the happiness someday. I'll bet this still doesn't put us anywhere near the capacity that we require. We looking. Ooh, we're actually quite close to the capacity we, we require. This almost has helped. That will be enough, I think. Maybe two more. Put a couple more in. Put one here. Put one here. Okay. That looks good to me. And then we need some high schools. Urban high schools do the job, I think. So if we put one there and we put one over here, I bet that's going to be enough. Is that going to be enough? Actually, I don't know why I said I bet that'll be enough when I didn't even look at the number. 
No, it's way more than enough. I, I was right. I knew it. We need quite a bit more college capacity, but I don't want to build a big one, do I? I don't really have that much of a choice. The college isn't that big. It fits in a square. And then the expansion for it just goes on the sides like an elementary school, and then we just put a little library behind it. That like fills in that area nicely. How does that affect our numbers? That's actually good. But we need more university capacity. Like, there's still traffic issues down there. I don't want to deal with it right now. Do we put in a full university? For 2,000? No, it doesn't really fit, though. Let's do row universities, just because they're smaller. Although they don't really hold that much, do they? 220? 450? 700? Let's do that. We'll build this up as a campus. So even though these are separate universities, we can just pretend that they're all part of one campus. Why not? You know what? We'll put in a college there, too. Small college. Good. Oh, there's a fire. Sweet. Great stuff. Real excited about that. Yeah, that's a bit of a bottleneck, but it's not the end of the world. Our education system is looking healthier than it ever has, that's for sure. We're making money. We're investing education and transportation and parks and recreation and communication and garbage management. So we are... Oh, and we're under-taxing. This is a miracle city. What's happening over here? Some sort of hailstorm? Probably was. Oh gosh, we have traffic mess over here. That's an accident causing that, so I'm not going to do anything about that. We are going to demolish these homes and replace them with... Do we need small offices still? No. Just put office buildings around this garbage location. Why not? There's demand for it. No, not anymore. There was demand for it. And then do we still need low density commercial? We do of the EU variety to unlock that marketplace. I'm just guessing where it will fit. I don't want to create too much new traffic either until this traffic resolves. Which I don't even know if it will. Oh, this is a bit of a disaster intersection. Can I tidy this one up? Does it have to be this hideous? No, it doesn't. Okay, so that might fix that problem. Yeah, I think that's as clean as it can be. Nope, there's some new commercial buildings. Good stuff. We're at a quarter million people. Is this bigger than Circle City? I don't think so. I think Circle City's at 300,000. I'll have to double check that. Employment's pretty good, too. We probably need to do a little bit better with industrial. We should probably expand over here. The issue is that we've got this big ridge where we were... When we first started working in this city, we were trying to flatten the terrain so we wouldn't have to deal with the shape of the terrain. And then one day we changed our minds and we said, you know what? Just work around it. We'll just, we'll just deal with it. And that worked for us for a, for a while. But then there's this area where we might have to build some sort of strange climbing hexagons. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. I'll bet there's a bunch of natural resources in there that we want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. That's coal and minerals. We definitely want that. There's farmland over here, too, that I didn't even notice. We should probably make use of that. This could all be coal mining. What are we currently doing here? Just generic industrial? Actually, these are homes, aren't they? So we should probably rethink how far our homes go. These are farm homes or farming industrial. Maybe they're not homes. No, they are homes. People do live here. Or is, why, why would we do that? Why... Astroxa, what were you thinking? Okay, we should probably take advantage of our natural resources here. The coal there. The oil is all over here. 
we've not even touched that yet. Is there any other oil? I'm just looking at the parallel universe here to see where it is. There's some there. There's this massive area here that we've barely dipped our toes into. You can't really see it underneath all those trees. Is there a way to just highlight the oil? Yeah, so there you go. There's a massive oil deposit here that we barely tapped. And then there's one... Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, Hexagon City. Coming along pretty decently. There are some traffic issues that continue to be unresolved for all eternity, and I don't really know how to resolve. Oh my gosh, look at all these people. Are they waiting for a bus or something, or are they waiting to cross the street? I think they're waiting to cross the street. Jeez, Louise, can we fix this intersection so it's not a disaster for them? Let's give them all the time in the world. Man, I wonder what's wrong with my game simulation speed. <laughs> there you go. Hey, how are we gonna render 10,000 people just standing around waiting to cross the street? That's where all of our simulation and CPU power is going. This intersection. Is there another one like it? You know what's likely the cause? Let's see. Follow where all these people are coming from. I do believe that somewhere in here... It's real choppy now. Because this is the center of the Mega Hexagon. Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. But we don't have enough cars either for this trip. But this is why there's so many people on foot. And this is why we should probably be looking at... Pretty long pedestrian phases for some of these intersections here. Alright, as I'm setting this up, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the progress of Hexagon City. We're at a quarter million. I call that progress. What do you call it? Progress. <laughs> you also call it progress. <laughs> Alright, thanks for hanging out. I hope I see you back again next time. Goodbye for now.